We now move to questions from the party leaders. And first this afternoon, we have the Leader of the Opposition, Andrew Archie Davis. Yes. Thank you, uh, Presiding Officer. Uh, First Minister, in the first four months of this financial year, several health boards have run up considerable deficits. Cardiff and Vale, for example, have run up a £12 million deficit. Betsy Cadwallader, 8.6, and Abatawi Bromogano, 4.5. All these on a year that your government is insisting they make £72 million worth of savings, £68 million worth in Betsy Cadwallader's case, and £45 million worth in Abatawi Bro Morgano. There is a real financial storm happening within the Welsh NHS. Is it still your government's contention that you will insist that local health boards come in on budget, or will you be offering them end-of-year flexibility like you did last year? So we want them to come in on budgets. Where they are just slightly short, we will look to help them. But bear in mind, of course, that the situation in England is that there are many uh, health bodies in England that are close to bankruptcy. So it's not as if somehow this is a particularly Welsh problem that has to be addressed. But, yeah, let me make it absolutely clear. We expect them to come in on, ta- on target. Where they are slightly short, we will look to see what we can do to help. But, 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 but I want to make it absolutely clear, it means they must be just short of their target. We now move to the Leader of the Opposition, Andrew Archie Davis. Thank you, uh, Presiding Officer. It is a bit rich, First Minister, you talking of scaremongering, when back at the end of September you talked of the budget for the Welsh NHS being slightly short. These were your words used in this plenary in response to my questioning about end-of-year outcomes for our NHBs. Here we have the Auditor General indicating a midpoint of £70 million, which your own Chief Executive of the Welsh NHS agrees with, uh, but an extreme position of £130 million. Where's it all gone wrong, First Minister? Well, as I've said before, we expect the LHBs to come in on target. <laughs> you must be living in a parallel universe, First Minister, that everyone working in the NHS in Wales, people in receipt of the health care from the NHS in Wales, understands that there are real pressures within the Welsh NHS. It is identified as a financial shortfall within the NHS. Your own health minister has said there will be no bailouts for the second year, but yet in one breath you're saying that there will be via £70 million, and now you're saying that there isn't a shortfall. What is it? When are you going to come to grasp the reality of this situation that our Welsh NHS faces, that you are underfunding the Welsh NHS here in Wales? The word midpoint, of course, which uh, undermines his entire argument. The difference is that we're honest on this side of the House. Because on, in, on, over on that side, the most dishonest position ever order, taken, order. the mis- most dishonest order. position ever taken order. by any party rests with them. I'll explain why now. I'm sorry, order. And my microphone's not working. Please. You may not like what the First Minister is saying, but he's got every right to say it. First Minister, please. The party opposite continuously claims it can find some £500 million from thin air to spend on the NHS, despite the cuts that are taking place under the party opposite in Westminster. The smoke and mirrors that's been used by them to try and conceal the cuts that are taking place in the NHS there are there for all to see. Let's come back to, to, to the Welsh issue. They say £500 million should be spent on the NHS. They never say where the money's coming from. Well, 20% cuts in transport, 30% on economic development, 12.5% when it comes to local government, 20%, depends who you believe, but 20% according to education. They know full well that on the one hand their government in London is taking money away from Wales and then they demand that money that doesn't exist is spent. That is fundamentally dishonest and the people of Wales found them out this year and last year. Thank you, Presiding Officer. It was interesting that the First Minister chose not to answer one single point that I put to him. Last week, I noticed in First Minister's question that the First Minister was busy pruning himself, pulling his suit together, pulling his cuffs together. Actually, if you take the suit off, there's very little substance there. There is a real issue. There is a real issue. There is a real issue in the Welsh NHS. Order. Order. There is a real issue over the NHS in Wales and the lack of substance that emanates from the government benches and in particular the Welsh Health Minister. It is about time that you address the real financial difficulties that the Welsh 
NHS faces and the £70 million shortfall that your own Chief Executive has identified? When are you going to face up to the reality of the situation so that clinicians and patients can have confidence that you have their best wishes at heart and we have a health service that is fit for the 21st century rather than the posturing week in, week out that you take as First Minister? Well, uh, he, talks about, he talks about posturing. He comes and he bundles in here every week and asks these questions, bundles back, back out again. One of the questions, he accuses us of trivialising the issue and he goes on about playing with cuffs and suits. I mean, that's a weak joke at the, uh, at the very most. The reality is we care about the NHS. We are honest with the people of Wales about the NHS. His party never explained where this phantom money is coming from. He knows the cuts that have come from his own party in London. At the end of the day, we stand up for the NHS. His party spins dishonesty to the people of Wales on this issue. Yeah, yeah.